everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action uh, for Monday, February the 27th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look here to some of the games. Actually, we're going to look at all the games for Monday. There's four of them in total. Uh, first one, Detroit Pistons and the Charlotte Hornets. You can see that Detroit is dead status. They have lost five out of their last six games. While Charlotte is average up, they have won their last two after dropping their previous four. The two teams are at the bottom in the Eastern Conference. Um, if you look at the power ranks indicator, you will see that they're both near the bottom, not surprisingly. Detroit at uh, plus one and Charlotte at plus three. Look at the head-to-head -head matchups between the two teams this season. Detroit has won both of them, the last one by six at home and the previous one by seven in a high-scoring game in overtime. The score predictor has Charlotte this time by 125-105 score with 78% level of confidence in the prediction. If you look at the over-under, you can notice that Detroit has been involved in games over the line in three of their last six, while Charlotte in only two of the last six. That's a good indication to lean towards the under in this one. Um, if you look at the stability factor, the volatility oscillator, how consistent are the two teams with regard to their favorite underdog status? Very consistent, Detroit plus 32, Charlotte plus 24. And that's mostly because they've been underdogs and they've been losing uh, very regularly. So that's not because they're good, because they've been consistent, consistently bad. But in this one here, I think it's going to be a Charlotte win at home. But I would pass on the over-under bet. Miami and Philadelphia. This is the game of the day, in my opinion. Uh, these two teams are battling in the Eastern Conference. Philadelphia right now third, while Miami is seventh. You can see Philadelphia comes in burning hot winners of their last five. And they're five and one over their last six. While Miami is averaged down, they are three and three over their last six and have lost their last two. If you look at the over-under, Miami has been over in their last two and four of their last six, while Philadelphia was under in their last game and over in uh, three of their previous five before that. The score predictor has Philadelphia 119, Miami 109, with 70% level of confidence in the prediction. And that just changed because I looked at this just a few minutes prior to doing this video, and Miami was the one that was given the uh, advantage here, 112 to 110. So take a look at this as it gets closer and closer to the game. On the power ranks indicator, Philadelphia is at plus 26. They have been steady, while Miami was at 24, and they dipped over the last couple of days down to plus 16. Head-to-head, -head, despite being in the Eastern Conference, you can see that the two teams have not met yet this season. If look at the stability factor. You can see that Philadelphia is at plus 20. Miami is at plus 16. So both teams are showing uh, stability as far as... Uh, being consistent with their uh, over, no, excuse me, with their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, I like Philadelphia. They're playing good ball. They're going to peak. They have a tough schedule the rest of the way. They have to win their games at home. I think they will do so here. I like Philadelphia in the game over the line. Boston and New York. This is another really good game. This is uh, battling the other uh, last game we just talked about for the game of the day. Uh, Boston burning hot. Winners are five out of their last six. New York also burning hot, also 5-1 over the last six games. Boston is the best record in the NBA right now, and New York is 7th looking for a playoff spot. If you look at the over-under, you see Boston over in 5 of the last six games, and New York in 3 of their last six. The score predictor likes New York at home by 114, uh, excuse me, Boston 119-114 over New York, with about 50% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, Boston, as they've been all season, are up near the top here at plus 27. While New York has climbed from 19 to 24 over the last uh, about two weeks. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams this year, uh, New York won the last one in overtime by three points on the road, while Boston won the first one on the road by 15. So that it's been a road team dominant series this season between the two teams. Boston is more stable with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 23 compared to plus 10 for New York. In the end, I like this trend to continue with the road team winning. Boston is just too good. I believe that they will win this one and in a game over the line.
Okay, we have a last game here for the day. It's the Orlando Magic and the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, both teams are struggling a bit. You can see that the Pelicans average down losers up their last two, three and three over their last six. Uh, and Orlando is coming off the win. They are three and three over their last six games as well. But Orlando right now is out of the playoff picture, while New Orleans is eighth in the Western Conference. If you look at the over-under, Orlando has been involved in games under the line in five out of the last six, while New Orleans has been three over three under in their last six. The score predictor likes New Orleans 120-114 with about 47% level of confidence in the prediction. On the power ranks indicator, you can see New Orleans has been on an up and downward trend there right now at plus 20, while Orlando pretty much the same way as far as up, up and down, they are on the downward trend and they are at plus six. If you look at head-to-head, -head, the two teams have played once this season back on January the 20th, and that was a 123-110 win for Orlando at home. The stability factor you can see here, um, Orlando was at plus 11 back on December 5th, and they've maintained them. I mean, they dipped, and now they're back up to plus 11. So they have not been very uh, stable, at least since, uh, you know, towards the end of last year while New Orleans is at plus 24 on a steady upward climb in that category. In the end, I like New Orleans to win this one. I like them to even the score this year in a game going under the line. So there you have it. Those are the four games for the NBA for Monday, February 27th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.